What do we have here? We have a loose pivot. Let's see if we can see how loose it is. Can we see that moving back and forth there? That means your pivot's too loose. If you can take your blade and move it back and forth, feel some play in there, that means it's a loose pivot. Sometimes even you need to have it open a little bit or halfway closed to be able to feel it because when it locks up, sometimes that looseness goes away. But this sucker is a little loose. So what are we gonna do? How do we even adjust it, a pivot? Well, a lot of times there'll be a little six-sided tool called a Torx. <laughs> I'll edit that out later and <laughs> take up that space where I forgot what Torx are called. There's a Torx on this side and a Torx on this side. Usually it's an eight or a 10, something like that. That's the size of the Torx bits. But a lot of knives like this one just have a flat bit on this side where the pivot is, and then the other side has a Torx only, so it only adjusts on one side. This one just needs to be adjusted on this side. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. I could adjust it. I could take the tool, put it in there, and tighten it up, take away the play. Yeah, it's gone. But I'll play with it for an hour, and it'll be back again. It'll be loose again because it keeps coming loose. So what we got to do is Loctite this thing. What Loctite do we use anyway? Let's figure that out. There's generic Loctites, but this is the name brand Loctite, and it's blue. Even though it's in a red container, the container's red, the stuff inside is blue, and the label says blue. Don't get the red. The red is sort of a more permanent, heavy-duty stuff. This one is kind of like... It asks the bolt to please kindly stop coming loose. It doesn't really force it to. So that's what we're going to use. Now, sometimes it works without doing anything else, and sometimes it doesn't, though. So let's, let's pull this guy out of here and see what we got. So here's the male bolt that goes into the pivot, or screw. And then there's the barrel of the pivot, and then on the other side of that barrel, that that's what the that's what the blade turns around. On the other side of that barrel there, there's the other side, the flat side of the pivot. Now, why is it coming loose? It wasn't ever Loctited before, so that's one reason. Um, could be a little oil in there. Could be a little grease gunk left in there, and if there is, the Loctite won't work super well. So, we do have to clean it first to make sure the Loctite will stick and do well. Now, what, what do you use? Some kind of solvent would be nice. I happen to have these alcohol wipes from a first aid kit laying around. They'll do okay. So, we just pinch it on the threads. Give it a couple of turns. You can actually use the tool to turn it back and forth while you pinch it with a paper towel with some... Um, some kind of degreaser on it, something like that. Brake cleaner. Eh, brake cleaner might be too rough on the G10. I'm not sure on that one. So anyway, I'm spinning it back and forth, cleaning it up. So those threads are clean now. Then I gotta dry them. So I got a little paper towel for that. Take the paper towel, do the same deal, and dry off the threads. Okay. All right, so that side's good. Now, the other side's the harder side, because that's the inside of the pivot. How do we clean that out? Well, I'm going to try to use the alcohol wipe, but maybe I'll cut it into a thinner strip. you got to be careful once you're the other side of your pivot's out that you don't uh, have the whole thing fall out or something. So I cut that piece of stuff, and... I'm going to kind of feed it in there, kind of like a screw, hopefully. Yep. A piece of paper towel might work better for this, but we're going to try it. Maybe put it on camera. That'd be cool, huh? All right, so I'm turning it in clockwise, so hopefully it'll kind of thread itself in there and get a hold of any gunk and grease in there. And then we'll 
keep threading it, keep threading it and pushing it down, and then pull it out and see what we got. A little bit of gunk on it, not much. All right, then take a piece of paper towel and do the same thing, kind of make like a little long, skinny, twisted piece that we can get down in there. And that may do as much as anything, getting any grease out of there, dirt, whatever. All right, so how much Loctite are we going to use? Not a lot. We're not going to go crazy with it, okay? Don't need a lot. Shake it up. It has little particles in suspension in this Loctite, so we've got to shake it up. Uh, you might, if it's a brand new tube like this, you'll actually have to cut the end off. Okay, see there's the blue blood coming out. Put that out of the way and clean off the tip of the knife. You don't want to get this on everything because it actually kind of hardens up kind of like glue. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on the threads of the male side. I don't need to drip it into the female side. That's what she said. And something like that. That might be even a little bit too much. We'll get that out of the way. I think I'm actually going to kind of touch that and kind of smear it into the threads and make sure it's smeared in there good. All right, and then I'll just clean my finger off here. Make sure it's not all over the all over the uh, surface of the pivot. We don't want it to smear all over your your uh, scales. All right, so then we put it back in. How tight do you tighten your pivot? That's a good question, right? Well, people different have different differing views on that. I like to tighten it to where there's no play. So I still have a tiny bit, so we're gonna tighten it a hair more. I'd like it to almost have play, but none that you can feel. Okay. And then I can't feel any play. Do I go a little bit further just to make sure? Some people do. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just a hair to make up for when it starts wearing in. And then you won't have that play happen later after it wears in. All right, now here's the important part of using your Loctite. You have to not mess with it for a while. You can't start flipping it now that you put the Loctite on because this takes, I don't know, 12 hours, 24 hours to harden, to uh, solidify, to get a good grip on it. So I'm just going to leave it. Well, I'm going to close it. Okay, and I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to play with it, not going to mess with it. And then tomorrow, tomorrow night, whatever, we'll check it out, make sure it's good. Then I'll mess with it for a while and see if it comes loose. It shouldn't, should be good. And that's how I fix my loose pivots. So if you have any questions, post them up. But that's the Loctite method by me anyway. Have a nice day.